Okay, fabulous. So I hope everyone had time to review the agenda um, and the meeting packet. First, I wanted to uh, welcome Jamie. She is the newest commissioner from Ward 1, um, appointed by Matilda Novak. Thank you so much. And did you want to take a moment to introduce yourself at all? Um, I mean, what, what do you want to know? <laughs> um, I'm a mostly stay-at-home mom. I teach Live and Learn with Your Baby online through LBCC. Um, I have a six-year-old son and a four-year-old daughter, and then pregnant with baby number three due at the beginning of May. Um, I'm a three-year breast cancer survivor, and currently I've got allergies going crazy. So um, it's all, I don't know if anyone has any questions. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Welcome. Um, and then do we have Gabe on here at all, or... Who are we doing yes. roll call? Okay. Yes, Madam Chair. Gabe, did you want to go ahead and uh, begin roll call? Uh, sure. Uh, Commissioner Jones. Here. Uh, Cummins. Here. Newton. Here. Davis. Present. Uh, Soriano. I can... Can't hear you yet, Greg. If you I... hold on the press the space bar, it'll unmute you. Oh, hey, look at that. Better? Yep, there we go. Okay, here. Uh, and Kokow. So that's five members present, Chair. Fabulous, thank you. All right, so our first item on our agenda is the election of officers, um, our chair and vice chair. Currently, I serve as our chair, and Miriam Cummins serves as our vice chair. Did anyone want to nominate themselves or nominate someone else? I'll dominate myself for um, vice chair again yes. for one more year. <laughs> okay, one more year. <laughs> I'll second that nomination. <laughs> all right, all in favor of electing Miriam Cummins as vice chair, say aye. 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 Any opposed? And I guess if there isn't anyone that's been throwing their hat in the ring, I'll run again for chair. Yay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, go. staff. <laughs> all, all righty. Um, so all in favor of electing me, is it, should I be running this? I feel like this is uncouth. Okay, I'm fine. Okay, thanks. <laughs> um, I feel okay about it. You're going through official proceedings. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, is there, I guess, we, we have to second that? I can't remember if there's Robert, Robert's rules. Uh, you don't have to second the nomination. Okay, thank you. All right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right, so there we go. We have our um, officers for the year. Thank you. Thank you. Okie dokie. Uh, let's go ahead and move forward with business from the public. It looks like we had um, Susan here. Did you have anything that you wanted to bring forward from the public? Uh, no, thank you. I just I've been wanting to watch your meetings and tonight I actually didn't have a conflict. So I'm just here to watch. Well, fabulous. Welcome. Yeah. Thanks. All right. So the last time we met officially was November 16th. Uh, we need to approve those meeting minutes. Do I have a motion on the floor or any or any revisions that need to be made? I make a motion to approve the November 16th meeting minutes as provided. All second. All right, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Aye. All right, so next item on our agenda is scheduled business. So the first part of that is our annual, annual, annual report presentation, which will be for the year 2020 and 2021. Uh, we have a date for this. Kim. So when we postponed the 2021, we said we would probably look to February. With that said, we're flexible. So that was one of the things that I wanted to check in. If we do February, it would need to be the 23rd as agenda items for the first meeting are already due on Friday. Um, and so if you want to move forward with the end of February, awesome. If not, we can look at March, whichever you all would prefer. End of February would work for me. Uh, and that's when I usually uh, create an annual report and then everyone will need to sign it. So everyone will need to get to city council 
or sorry, to City Hall to sign this. Uh, will City Hall be open? Hopefully, yes. It's so, easy. We always use DocuSign, right? We, or- we, we can figure out how to do it. Um, if we're anticipating City Hall will be open the beginning of February, but it all just depends on how the search is going through and how our staffing levels are. Mm-hmm. Okay, sounds great. Um, and then we'll also need to do a, um, a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, I usually throw those all together. If anyone would like to help me, I would always gladly accept the help, um, but no pressure. And I would recommend um, uh, with this council, presentations like this that are 10 to 15 minutes seem to be the smoothest ones. So that would be my recommendation. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I wanna keep them, you know, we didn't have much going on in 2020. Uh, all right, so project updates. We are in the middle of COVID still. So uh, I still plan on resuming in the summer, um, you know, the farmer's market uh, events, but did we have any other updated? Oh, actually, Jamie, you would not know this, I apologize. So we had created um, individually, you know, kind of like some projects we wanted to work on um, to help further the mission of the HRC here in Albany. And so, for example, one that I um, put together and had folks from the HRC join me at would be, you know, some small broken down lessons um, presented at the farmer's market. Um, Greg did a unity walk um, in, uh, uh, on, on the waterfront and we're, we're working on, on just creating ways to be, get, get more um, involved in the community and also further the mission of the HRC. So something you can noodle on. And uh, um, if you have any ideas for projects or something like that, you can always bring them forward either today or next our next meeting. Um, and we can also create subcommittees. Um, but so where, where do everyone, where, where's everyone's project standing? I know uh, Miriam, you mentioned you wanted to do one that was more of like a food centered one. I don't think that's gonna be happening anytime soon. No. Uh, and that's actually what I was going to say that um, the one I wanted to do, it's the food, you know, getting food trucks in as like trying different foods. But again, my goal was in the spring. Um, however, because of this new variant and it looks like COVID is going to be lingering longer, um, I'm probably going to have to change what um I'm thinking that I want to do because waiting another year to do this, I mean, I can put this in the back burner and be like, okay, when the time comes, we can do this. But right now I do want to do something and I'm thinking of what to do. Um, Something that again, it's, you know, with what currently is going on, um, which is kind of difficult because I do want something in person. But I know right now individuals are feeling very like they don't want, you know, to be in small places together. And I understand that completely. So I'm kind of rethinking what are some other possibilities um, or options we can do here soon. I might have a thought as an adjunct to the your originally proposed project. Mm-hmm. So when we come to that portion of the agenda, I'll throw that out. Okay. Sorry, my dog just fell. <laughs> this yeah, is funny. I'm sorry, yeah. he was laying and he's like, oh, snap. Sorry. <laughs> I think it would be fun if we were able to do some, um, you know, online, you know, either like, you know, something that's online, you know, have like mm-hmm. a community, community discussion online. Um, I'm not sure that would be a possibility or we'd want to come up with like some topics or if we need to get like a, um, an actual like facilitator. Mm-hmm. Um, but if we could tackle some like topics that are happening in our community, that might like be a moderated fun. forum posts or mm-hmm. of sorts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Step. I just took a cultural competency CE for my board licensure, mm-hmm. and it was a really good program. It was done by a, a dentist up at OHSU, mm-hmm. and it was about an hour and a half. And um, that um, it's a possibility. I mean, it's primarily for healthcare providers, but um, 
I would probably get permission to maybe have something like that that's available. It's really cool for the community. Um, and so that's a possibility and it's, it's really a, it was a, it was a pretty good program. Um, but basically uh, providers dealing with um, different cultures and, um, and so that's a possibility, um, something like that, that we, could, that we could have for the general public, I suppose. I think that'd be, be great. It wouldn't be much work either. Um, uh, so, anyways, and it, it kind of go went over demographics of um, the different cultures, um, and um, just I don't know, it's just a possibility that wouldn't wouldn't take a whole lot of work. I think um, it'd be great. I, I think it'd be great, um, not just for healthcare providers either. Um, you know, well, just the general public. I'm sure it's applicable across mm -hmm. a myriad of spectrums. Yeah. yeah, I mean, one thing that I was kind of thinking, too, is um, a lot of the things that I am currently doing, I'm doing it on equity, diversity and inclusion and then incorporating justice to it, making it Jedi. Um, and so I will love to talk about things that we can do as a community, how we can be inclusive, how we can be equitable and how we can be diverse. And then um, at the end you know, incorporate justice and have those conversations that I feel that um, people want to talk about it, but they don't know how and having a starting point and having those conversations would be good. I'm more than happy to facilitate those. I do have the training um, and the experience to be able to have those hard conversations. I could also invite uh, Dr. Coley to speak at one of our sessions. Mm -hmm. That'd be great. Would, the, would you guys yeah. like that possibly? Yeah. Could you yeah. and then maybe I see could, I can try to set that up. She's really very accessible. She's mm -hmm. uh, she's uh, a, a community dentist up at OHSU. So if if that's something that everyone's interested in, she could just do a small presentation. Mm -hmm. That'd be great. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because cool. I'm yeah, because I think we can do different like have it multi be, be like multi, you know, like one month we talk about equity, one month we talk about diversity, one month we talk about um, inclusion, and then at the end about justice and why it's so important to incorporate it. Um, so it can be multi tiered. It doesn't have to be all at once because sometimes the, like I like to process things you know, in chunks, not everything at once. And I, and I feel like people are like that as well. Um, and that way it gives them time to process. So I can create a plan on what that looks like and then share it with you all and see if that is something we can do as a community to ensure that um, people have a safe place to talk. Fabulous. And Kim, it looked like you had something to say as well. Totally good. We've okay. already moved beyond and it's it's good. All right, fabulous. So Kim, if I were to have Dr. Coley on, um, what would be the process? Would um, Sure. Would, uh, we'd have a quorum or something like that or? So okay. um, we could look at any of the upcoming dates and pitch those to, okay. to the doctor. And then okay. once it works out, just let Steph know and myself know, we'll add it to the agenda and I'll make sure that they get the link. Great. Okay. That sounds simple enough. Yeah. However much time you guys want to carve out, I say go for it. Okay. That's great. I'll work on that. Fabulous. It's great. Um, all right. Does anyone else have any other item, uh, any more feedback for that item uh, of scheduled business? All right. Hearing none, let's move over to item 60, which is the Human Relations Award. Um, and so it looks like we have some highlighted text here. So we have green and yellow. Um, want to clarify, Kim? So this is we're determining the date. So we want to determine the date for um, when the applications we do. Yes. So because 2020 was funky, we moved mm -hmm. back the 2020 award to essentially last month. Yeah. Um, and so um, my recommendation would be that we give it a little bit of a breathing room, just because we went through the application process. But um, that is, I'm not sure exactly how much. Um, it's up to you guys as to when we want to go back out for, for nominations and when we want to set the next award date. I think that's a great idea. Um, I'd like to propose that we uh, you know, give some publicity to it. Uh, I, I can mention it during our, um, our presentation to city council, but also just to get more applications um, for the um, award. So I, I would like to suggest that maybe we start like a 
promotion, you know, publicity kind of start cycle starting in like you know, July and close uh, nominations end of October. Um, and then we could present, so they'll give us November to vote and then present the award in December. And we get, that would be like rounding out the year. So that so would be like the 2022, if that makes sense. Does everyone else sound great? Sound, does that sound good to everyone or does anyone else have an alternative suggestion? That seems like a good time frame. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and move over to our next item, which is um, item 6D, which is the event debriefs and upcoming events for the HRC. Um, I do have an event um, and I can upload the flyer here, I believe. No, chat is disabled. Um, I can't share my screen. Oh, oh. Sorry, um, chat's disabled because that makes it difficult to um, uh, capture in order for it to be public record. But let me see if I am smart enough to figure out how to make you a co-host. All right, you should be able to access it now. Okay, so let me go ahead and upload. Okay. It's wanting me to upload from like Dropbox or Google One Drop. Oh, wait. One moment, I apologize. Oh, here we go. Can I just drag this in? Yes, I can. Maybe. Okay, it's not uploading. Um, I Steph, if you want, you can send the flyer out afterwards to everybody as long as folks don't reply back and it's just an informational, uh, informational blast. Yes, and actually, how about I just share my screen and share what it is? It's the Community and Immunity Day Fair that's coming up on January 29th. Um, would love also for the city to post, it, post this out. So I'll send it over to Matt and I'll email it to everyone else if everyone could help um, promote this event. Um, I think it'd be great. That's cool. And Matt does have, he has pushed it out already. He has? Okay. I, I have not been on social media today or yesterday. So I apologize. You're probably well, healthier because of it. Well, I've been doing like work, like, if, you know, but not like fun stuff. Um, and does anyone else have any other events or debriefs of things that have attended for this past month? Or anything, anything they'd like to add to the calendar? No? Okay. All right. So let's move over to 6E, which would be highlights for the meeting. Uh, I'd like to propose that we elected new officers and we've um, had Jamie join us um, as our highlights for this, uh, this month's uh, annual report preparation. Uh, is there any, anything else they'd like to add? Mm -hmm. All right. Hearing none, let's move over to the next item. Um, business from the commission. Uh, Robin. Yeah, so I was thinking um, about the project that uh, uh, Juan had proposed the previous commissioner uh, and well, as well as what Miriam was talking about in doing a food event. And I'm wondering if we couldn't do some sort of slimmed down version of uh, Juan's excellent idea instead of doing video with a lot of video editing, but to do uh, a, a post or some or some site that highlights um, a few interview questions and a picture of the various food carts and their proprietors. Um, since the food carts do represent such a, a diverse uh, cross section of our, our community, I'm wondering if that might be a, a good step and maybe an interim step to what uh, Miriam is uh, talking about in this uh, this other event. 
that's just my basic thought thus far. Yeah. Um, part of, um, I love it. Uh, and as a staff person, part of me wonders if we would be able to, you know, showcase certain folks or maybe make it like a bingo card or some, you know, a passport. And the chamber might be a community organization that might also want to help with that, that mm -hmm. would help to, to spread the word. So um, that that's just my two cents. I think that sounds fabulous. Mm -hmm. That was actually along the lines of what I was thinking, too. I love a passport idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. really nice. So do I hear that maybe Robin and Jamie would like to form a subcommittee to get this project going? Sure. I'd love to. Fabulous. So Kim, would you be able to send out our contact information to Jamie as well? Yep. All right. It'll go out. Perfect. All right. So then the two of you can connect and get working on this. I'm excited to hear what you guys have uh, to present next, uh, next month. Yeah. Um, Greg, Greg, did you have any business to bring to the commission? Um, I'm thinking about just another simple walk, maybe at LBCC, something very, um, very simple, maybe even pet walk, just, uh, just something to bring people out of the house and get together. Um, um, and maybe get a few more people this time. Um, and yeah, there's plenty of parking there. We just maybe do a couple laps around LBCC. Um, you know, I'd like to get different cultures, different groups, just, um, you know, I, I just think it'd be, um, something that I would be willing to work on. I think that sounds awesome. And also there is a multicultural day fair at LBCC and I'm wondering Perfect. if it'd be interesting, uh, to work with them. Yeah, no, I, I, I would like another project. Um, so cool. I would love to work on something like that. They also have a new DEI staff member, um, uh, uh, Dorset, uh, Jason Dorset Jason. came over. So um, oh. he, he might be able to connect you into the community as well to help spread the word there. That's awesome. What's DEI? I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Diversity, equity, and inclusion. Okay. Um, Greg, would you like me to connect you with Jason Dorset? I would love that connection. Um, yeah, and, and maybe, maybe have a walk that day or app or part yeah. of part of the program yeah, um, you i just i just think getting outside and moving around is less covid risk and get people out of the house um but i would love that connection with jason thank you all right miriam did you have anything mm -hmm. to bring to the commission yeah i was wondering if um if there's a way that or something where we can share when our meetings are um, just for the community to know if they do want to bring something to us, they can. So maybe on social media, creating a post so we can share, because I would love to share that in my personal page and getting the word out. Because usually what I do is I put it as a post like, hey, we're going to have an HRC meeting. Here's the link. But I think if something comes as a collaborative that we can just share I think that would help us maybe reach out to community um, so we can share that and have them join because maybe there's something out there that we don't know about and this will give them that ability to be able to reach out to us um, and if possible have it also in Spanish so if we could create you know a flyer that's in English and Spanish um, and then be, and all you have to do is just change the date, right? So if we just keep everything the same HRC meeting, the only thing that changes is the date, then it's something that, um, could be easy. Or if, yeah. Or if it's even like, um, on a Facebook event, you just you even choose the dates in advance and mm -hmm. it just, um, I can ask you that. Yeah. Yeah. I can, uh reach out to Matt. Okay. Cause that would be nice. Just something that is not coming just from me, but coming as like from HRC, you know, from the city of Albany, that this is what's going on because it's like, I'm limited on, you know, just my people that know me or that are friends with me on Facebook. But if we can have it as a public out there for anybody to come and join and be part of this conversation. Awesome. And Jamie, did you have anything you wanted to bring to the commission? Okay, so I have something I wanted to um, discuss with everyone here. 
Um, I'm not sure if you guys had a chance to, uh, if you guys take a peek and ever look for the st st statistical transparency of, transparency of policing report. Um, so it, you can find it on Oregon.gov. I can forward over the link to ever, actually I can drop it. Am I allowed to drop it in, in the chat? That's disabled. So send me an email and I'll follow up tomorrow okay. with, with info. Okay, perfect. So, um, looking at the figures and calculations based on like our census data. So in Albany, um, you know, we have, you know, 1% of our population is Asian, half of a percent are black, 12% are Latino, 1% um, Native American, 86% are white. Um, what I found alarming um, so with half of our percentage, half 0.5% of our population being black, they made up 2.4% of our stops by police officers. Um, for our Latino population, 12% of Albany, they were 10.6% of stops. Asian population is 1% and they were 1.2% of uh, stops. Um, you know, white folks, 86%, but they were only 85% of the um, stop. So usually, you know, with um, data like this, you want it to uh, match how your population looks. So you would like, mm -hmm. you would see that like half of a percent of folks are black and only half of a percent of stops are, are people that are black. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I'm just, um, it's just very interesting to me. And I wanted to bring that to everyone at the commission. And I know that there is a, uh, um, DEI group with the Albany police. Um, I haven't had a moment to reach out to them yet, but I, I, I just was curious if anyone's read about this or if anyone's heard anything um, or and hear what anyone's thoughts are or if there's anything that you guys would like to um, do if it's, you know, connect with the Albany police DEI group or, um, yeah. So it's, it's for particularly for the, our black citizens, that would be 0.5 to 2.6. So that would be four point something times more likely to get stopped than a white citizen. Is that? It, it was 2.4 percent. It's not 2.6, but yeah, no, it was quite quite a higher percentage. So four, over four times more likely to get stopped. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. What were the? And I haven't looked at that data, and I would love to look at it so I can see but um were mostly of those stops based on like a traffic violation or because what's coming into my mind is racial profiling mm -hmm. um uh, let's say it how it is that is what i mean so we gotta talk about it so if that's something that maybe we need to have these conversations with a edi group at with the police department and let's have those conversations because that is concerning and that to me, knowing the how high that is, I, I just I feel very um, I just have questions on on that. Mm -hmm. So I know Keith serves on the uh, diversity action team. their their DAT is their acronym. We're the city. We love acronyms. Um, and I know that Keith serves on that. I've uh, attended all the ones that I've been able to. Um, what I could do is folks, if folks feel comfortable, I could reach out to Chief Hardenden and see if maybe she wants to come at mm -hmm. a upcoming meeting to kind of chat and talk about yeah. what their, what their group is doing. Um, and that could help to bridge some of the conversations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was just curious. And I saw that it was just like, oh, well, that's quite a different number. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I'd love that if you could have uh, Chief Harden come. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to shoot for February or March? February would be rotten. Mm -hmm on it yeah i was gonna say the sooner the better <laughs> i don't want this to be like lingering um but that having that link so we can look at that data too so if we have questions we can definitely direct those to her um, okay so yeah, and i thank can you. forward this over to you as well kim um okie doke so um our next meeting oh so staff updates citizen advisory groups terms and recruitment. So I believe we have one or do we have two citizen advisory groups that are appointed through this um, 
commission? Just uh, the one. And so this time around, um, uh, Greg was, was reappointed, Miriam was reappointed. Um, we do have one outstanding spot from, I believe Ward 1, I just minimized it, um, but I know they're working on that. And I'll check in with Kinsey to see what the update on it is. Um, and then Jamie is our, our newest person who is joining from the last term. So um, when I send out the roster, you'll be able to have everybody's contact information. It'll tell you what wards you're from and when your term is expiring. So um, I'm happy to send that out with, with the kind of recap email tomorrow. Um, I apologize. It was, there's another commission that feeds, we have one seat from there. Um, oh, Robin uh, serves on the Community okay. Development Commission. Sorry, I apologize. Okay, and that, that's, what I, that's what I thought that this that was referencing in the agenda. So I wanted to just make sure that appointment term is good and we're, you're going to continue on there, right, Robin? Because I just know that Leslie... Um, um, yeah, as a matter of fact, they appointed me uh, vice chair of that. Fabulous. <laughs> All right, awesome. Um, so we have one outstanding seat open um, and it's Bessie Johnson's to appoint, correct? Um, okay, so if anyone knows anyone out in Ward 3, um, would love to get that appointed. Or do we know where if, if she's reviewing applications already or? I believe they've been pushed, but I don't know where we are. So I'll, I'll double check with Kinsey. Okay, fabulous. All right, so our next meeting is uh, Tuesday, February 22nd at 7 p.m. Um, I look forward to seeing everyone there. And if there isn't anything else, uh, we are adjourned. For, oh, sorry, I apologize. Sorry. Kim. No, totally. I totally good. I just have two additional um, bits of information that I want to share. One is that uh, the city is going through an ADA transition, creating an ADA transition plan that has been updated um, specifically for our department. Uh, we're bringing somebody in to kind of look at all of our parks, all of our herd surface trails, all of our facilities. Um, and similarly, it's happening in the public right of way and, and all that kind of good stuff. Um, I know this is already an engaged group that you guys have connections. And so we're looking for folks who um, identify with, with um, the ADA community who might be interested mm -hmm. in being involved on our ADA advisory group. It's two meetings, um, but if anybody knows any families or anything like that, um, I, there's already kind of a group that's been put together for the right away. But a lot of those folks, um, you know, the more the merrier at this point. I want to hear about parents who have issues with their kids at the playgrounds to, you know, the pool. So um, if anybody knows anyone, please give them my contact information. We're hoping to start the first meeting, I believe, um, is in March, I believe, the first actual um, advisory group meeting, but I figured you all would be a great group to help spread the word. We're also pushing information online and on social media, but sometimes folks just, you know, awesome. scroll past. Would you um, send an email with that information as well? Yep. Um, and then this one is um, the every couple of years, five years or so, the city goes through a natural hazard mitigation plan where we um, go through and we talk about all the terrible things that could happen um, and the likelihood and the severity and the impact of it. Um, and I do know that at some point we're going to be kind of taking it on the the road show and getting impact uh, feedback from people regarding what they feel are biggest vulnerabilities are and, and whatnot. And so I just kind of wanted to throw that out there as um, I might send you guys a link or something like that. Once again, you're connected, you're already engaged. So if you can help spread the word when that time comes, I would greatly appreciate it as it'll help the city be more prepared and, and better informed. That's perfect. Awesome. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. So if there isn't anything else going, going, all right. Um, we are adjourned and we'll see uh, one another on Tuesday, February 22nd. And again, welcome, Jamie. Um, and I'm excited to see everyone what we accomplish this year. Let's hope Yay. that uh, this variant, you know, th things just ease up, I hope. We'll see yes. one of these days. Yes. Have a good Thank night, you. everyone. Have good a night. great day. Bye, everyone. Adios a todos. Bye. Bye-bye. Yeah.